You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Today, we're counting down 10 more discontinued snacks Americans miss the most. Find out if there is a missing snack alert out on your favorite. Reese's Bites. Just one little bite. Peanut butter and chocolate are one of the best sweet and salty combinations out there, and when you think about peanut butter cups, it's hard not to think of Reese's. As classic as candy gets, Reese's has seen a lot of variations and a lot of shapes over the years, and one that looked like a surefire hit was Reese's Bites. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Introduced in the late 1990s by Hershey, Reese's Bites were the perfect way to enjoy Reese's in a more practical manner. They were the perfect movie snack and were often bought before heading in to catch the latest blockbuster. They were released as part of the Hershey's Bites line, which included Rolo, Kit Kat, York Peppermint Patty, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The small chocolate-coated spheres were filled with the peanut butter filling we all know and love and were on their way to becoming very successful in the marketplace. However, after only a couple of years on the shelves, they disappeared. But why would a seemingly delicious candy get taken off the market? Well, because they turned out to be quite the choking hazard, especially for kids who were the main demographic eating Reese's Bites. Ah, can't breathe. Soon enough, Hershey's ended up discontinuing the entire Bites product line for the same reason. Keebler Munchums. A nice present from an unknown appreciative citizen that wanted us to munch. Over the years, Keebler has provided us with some pretty iconic and tasty snacks. From chocolate cookies to ice cream cones, these little elves have been busy. However, there is one snack that is not nearly talked about enough, and that is the Munchums. These super popular crackers were basically a winning snack combo that would most likely be a huge hit today as well. Munchums combined the crispy texture of a potato chip with the delicious flavor of Keebler's signature snack crackers. Best of both worlds. I like that. They came in an array of flavors, which included chili cheese, sour cream and onion, and ranch and cheddar. While these sound like they would be amazing, they didn't make it very far in the snack world and were discontinued in the early 2000s. Their silent departure left a lot of angry fans desperate to find out why, oh why, they had gone away. Not only did Munchums have to compete with other cracker companies, but also the generic store brands who could replicate them almost to a T. I guess I can't tell the difference anymore. Even though the failure of Munchums wasn't such a big deal for Keebler's financial status, it was a very big deal to everyone who loved and cherished those little crunchy crackers. Dunkaroos. I'm trying to find a Dunkaroo I dropped under the couch, and I gotta get it before the rats do. If you grew up in the 1990s, then you know that getting a pack of Dunkaroos in your lunchbox felt like it was Christmas morning every day. And yet, even in 2021, we're still not over that satisfying and rewarding feeling. These little cookies were made to be dunked in overly sweet and creamy frosting, either chocolate or vanilla. Nothing mixes better than vanilla and chocolate. A little after they were released, these cookie crackers added four new new frosting flavors, chocolate chip, cinnamon, peanut butter, and rainbow sprinkles. Even though these particular cookies seem to be one of the most popular snacks ever, sales started to fizzle out, and by 2012, the product had been discontinued in the United States. However, in Canada and Australia, Dunkaroos were enjoyed for a little while longer. The snack brand even encouraged fans to smuggle them back into the United States with its Smuggleroos campaign. However, there was a light of hope last summer when Dunkaroos announced that they would be coming back by popular demand to the U.S. Stop. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What? Now it's the Canadians who will have to watch the dunking from afar, as there are no plans to relaunch Dunkaroos in Canada. How the tables have turned. Oreo Big Stuff. Oreos? Sorry, these are from 1896. Oreo is probably the most beloved brand of cookie there is. Perfect for dunking in milk, there's nothing like finishing a whole row of Oreos just because you feel like it. And what could possibly be better than an Oreo, you ask? That's impossible. Is that impossible? It's impossible. Well, how about a giant Oreo almost as big as your head? 
The Oreo Big Stuff was one of the most outrageous yet delicious snacks created in the 1980s. It gave a whole new meaning to saying you'll just have one Oreo, that's for sure. As much as these were adored and frequently bought, they mysteriously disappeared only seven years later. After a lot of tears were shed and questions left unanswered, Oreo Big Stuff slowly drifted into oblivion, but not for the hardcore fans. They still remember. Other types of Oreos have tried to take the Big Stuff spot, but none has yet to fill its very large shoes. It could never be as good as you. There are no known reasons why this enormous cookie was discontinued. Perhaps it was because of its ridiculous size. Or maybe people didn't want to give up the possibility of dousing their Oreos in milk without fear of breaking the glass. Whatever it was, it's gone now, and it is still greatly missed today. Hershey's Kissables. How about a kiss? I'd love a kiss. Over the years, Hershey's has come out with a lot of fun and creative chocolate products. From Hershey's Kisses to Swoops, there is no telling where this delicious brand is going next. In 2005, they came up with a new and improved version of Kisses, Hershey's Kissables. They were miniature Hershey's Kisses coated in a hard candy shell made with real milk chocolate. The thick sugar shells came in basic bright colors like red, orange, green, blue, and yellow, which strangely resembled misshapen M&Ms. You want an M&M? The best part of Kissables was that they didn't require any individual foil wrapping. You could eat as many as you wanted and as fast as you wanted. At first, they seemed like a big hit, and people seemed to be quite fond of the Kissables. However, when Hershey's decided to change the formula by swapping out the cocoa butter for cheaper alternatives, it was a different story. My secret formula. They couldn't be called chocolate anymore. They now had to be labeled as chocolate candy, which turned a lot of people away from buying them. After a shelf life of only two years, Hershey's Kissables were discontinued. If we had to bring them back, however, we would bring back the original version, the milk chocolate version. The one we all truly miss and wish we could taste again. Kellogg's Yogos. What are you eating? Yogurt! We all had that one snack as a kid that made us feel like we were eating something healthy, even though it really wasn't. For a lot of people, that snack was Yogos. Produced by Kellogg's in 2005, Yogos were delicious, tiny, multicolored fruit snacks with a yogurt shell that literally looked like a fruity bit of goodness. Fruity and delicious. Yogos evolved into Yogos Bits and then Yogos Sour Bits, each tastier than the last. Widely popular and addictive in taste, these were the epitome of a yummy snack for many. However, one sad day, Yogos were taken off the shelves and people went nuts. The official reason as to why these were discontinued is still a little unclear. However, speculation says that it was due to various health issues. A lot of people thought that the oils used for the yogurt shell was causing sickness among those who ate the snack. I don't feel so good. So in response to the possibility, Kellogg stopped producing them and pulled them off the market. However, fans of the snack weren't going to let them go that easily. Numerous petitions, emails, tweets, all kinds of measures were taken to bring Yogos back. So far, no luck, but we can't help but hope that Kellogg's eventually decides to change its mind and bring these beloved and tasty snacks back. Wonka Donuts. Yay! Donuts. For generations now, visiting the Willy Wonka chocolate factory from the movies has been a childhood dream for a lot of kids and grown-ups alike. Getting to eat as much candy as you can while walking along a chocolate river? Who could say no to that? Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that is called cannibalism. Well, back in 2005, we could almost taste the experience with the release of Wonka Donuts. These chocolate candies, unsurprisingly shaped like donuts, were covered in multicolored sprinkles and had a creamy truffle-like filling. The Wonka Donuts were widely promoted around the release of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie reboot and were even to be featured in the film. Even though these sound like they would be a huge hit, the Wonka Donuts were ridiculously short-lived. Wow, that didn't Take long. They were discontinued due to poor sales and a lack of customer buzz. 
despite a lot of advertising, they were not able to gain enough dedicated fans to keep them alive. It's not sure why these didn't gain more popularity. Maybe it's because they looked like donuts but weren't. Or maybe it's because not enough of the public were aware of their existence. Either way, those who do remember these chocolatey donut candies are still mourning their loss. There are even petitions online to bring them back, but so far there is yet to be a new sighting, and there hasn't been one for a very long time. Kudos Granola Bars Kudos to you, and kudos again. A Kudos Granola Bar was literally like a candy bar for breakfast. They were delicious and hugely popular, especially during the 1990s, and were manufactured by Mars, the candy experts. The sugary granola bars were originally only available in fudge, peanut butter, and chocolate chip. But in 2011, Kudos were elevated to another level. With new flavors like M&M's, Dove, and Snickers chocolate, they were destined to be successful. Not only did Kudos now have new tasty flavors, but they also had some health upgrades as well. Granola bar. With catchy TV commercials, the bars were adored by many. Which is why, when Kudos suddenly vanished, people everywhere were distraught. Open letters were written to Mars begging the company to bring back their favorite snack slash breakfast. While the company never produced a formal statement explaining why they took Kudos off the market, there is a lot of speculation as to why Kudos had to go. The most likely reason? The trend of healthy snacks that was starting to become the norm was probably what caused Kudos to lose its royal status. A vegan. A gluten-free vegan. Despite being loved and cherished, Kudos are no longer around. If you're desperately trying to get that sense of nostalgia back, you can always follow the copycat recipes online, it might not be the same, but it might just come pretty dang close. Pizza Spins it's spin, 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 and away I go! Usually anything pizza-flavored other than pizza doesn't really taste accurate. Either they have no taste whatsoever, or they're overwhelming with fake flavors and weird textures, making the snack inedible. However, back in the day, they really knew how to make the best pizza snacks the world had ever seen. Pizza spins, introduced in the late 1960s by General Mills, were crispy little steering wheels, or wagon wheels, whatever you want to call them, and had the flavor of a real pizza. According to a 1968 press release, studies showed that pizza was the taste of the 60s. Pizza! We like pizza! So it was more than suitable for such a snack to see the light of day. To ensure pizza spins had an authentic Italian pizza taste, they contained many of the same ingredients found on a real pizza, like Parmesan cheese, tomatoes, pizza spices, and even pepper. And because paying attention to detail is always important, the Italian flag was even featured on the pizza spins box with green, white, and red tones. These wheels infused with pizza flavor had a lot of devoted fans, so when they were discontinued in the mid-1970s, there was a fair amount of sad going around. I miss them, Alfred. I miss them so much. So do I, Master Bruce. Pizza spins were truly in a league of their own and had quite the fan club. Hopefully, General Mills will reconsider and start making these extra crunchy, yummy pizza snacks again one day. Fingers crossed. Doritos Fiery Habanero I can teach you all the Dorito flavors again. Everyone has their favorite flavor of Doritos, whether it's Cool Ranch, Spicy Sweet Chili, or the good old original nacho cheese, there's a colorful bag for every taste. And while a lot of you are lucky to still have their go-to flavor around, there are some less fortunate people who can't say the same. Back in 2005, Frito-Lay came out with a new, delicious, and spicy Doritos variety, Fiery Habanero. Habanero potato chip? Just as hot as it sounds, the Fiery Habanero Doritos were the perfect way to satisfy by your craving for spicy food. However, as much as this little tortilla chip would be booming in this day and age, we sadly can't say the same back then, as they were discontinued in 2012. Eating spicy foods has become exponentially more popular over the years, and now a great portion of our snack industry has a spicy version of their regular snacks. Ha! Ha! Spicy! Why is that spicy? However, back in 2005, this wasn't exactly the case. 
we were only just starting to embrace spicy Cheetos, so apparently it wasn't habanero or ghost chili time just yet. So the fiery habanero Doritos' lack of success was not due to the flavor or the lack thereof, it was simply that this beautiful, wonderful chip was ahead of its time. While we're patiently waiting for Doritos' fiery habanero to make a comeback, they've sort of reappeared under the Doritos Dynamita label, a rolled tube-shaped chip, basically a knockoff version of Takis. Did we bring back some good memories, or were you trying to forget these snacks lost to the ages? Well, let us know and tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.